Joining me now for right versus left is Christine Hamilton. Thanks for coming on, Christine. And Sam Scable, former leader of the Liberal Democrats. Uh, we've got an election this year. In fact, we've got one in America, one in the UK. This show's all been all about elections today. And we're well, looking in most of the Western world, haven't we? And yeah, half of the rest. Yeah. And India, yeah. yeah. But we're looking yeah. at the media, guys, mm -hmm. and how impartial they're going to be. Now, we know GB News is, is totally impartial. It's yeah, balanced. It's it's Indeed it is. Stewart, I think. Yes. Yeah. And it, try, it does try hard. You know, there's always a left against anybody who's... Well, let's talk right. about the taxpayer-funded BBC. Now, we know in the past that uh, they've had to apologise for calling my party far right. I don't know where they got that idea from. Uh, they refused to... Wishful thinking. They refused to use the word terrorists uh, when talking about Hamas. They say it's the government calls them terrorists. It's a bit of a cop-out to me. Vince, are they going to be impartial, the BBC? Of course they are, yeah. And they will be, you know, hauled up if they're not. So they have to be very careful, as, as of course all the free-to-air channels do. I mean, you know, BBC 2, Channel 4, Channel 5... Um, you know, have the same same issues. I, 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 aren't you being a bit precious? You know, worrying about being called far right. I mean, if you were called an extremist, you know, in the same company as Tommy Robinson and that crowd, then you'd have a point. Tommy Robinson is not in the building, and he would argue that he's not extreme. What, 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 what's some objectionable about being far called far right? Far means extremist. I mean, you're further right than the Tory Party. I mean, I, you'd accept that. So, well, what, what if, if further's okay? What's wrong well, with it's far? Not. But people associate that, that sort of far right label with Nazis, with yeah. folks, with extremists. Yeah, we have the, the, the Tommy Robinson crowd are the only thing we have in Britain which is remotely on that kind of extreme fringe. And clearly, you're not. In I, that I, I, I'm just looking at Christine now. You're dying to chip. Well, it's it not difficult to be further right than the current Tory party, is it? I mean, it's pretty oh, Lib Dem, oh. frankly. That, oh, that's oh. their problem, and that's it's why... It's Lib Dem a bad thing, Christine. It's not a bad it. thing, but it's not what a Tory government well, should we, be. That's, that's the problem. That's yeah. why they're going to lose the election, because they haven't been Conservative, which is why reform are doing so well. Yeah, true, but you see people like, you know, some of the um, media personalities on the BBC, like Gary Lineker, has always tweeted a load of nonsense out on his, on his social media platform, so he sort of begs the question, can the BBC be unbiased? Well, yeah, I mean, OK, Gary and the Nickers in one place. I mean, they used to have Clarkson on for years, you know, who was the opposite. And it was great fun, you yeah. know, and it was part of a, a mix, right? And, you know, that He wasn't doing politics, so was he? Forgive me if he was, well, but I don't know if he but was. But in the he politics was space, sort of cars people like Andrew Neil, who was a brilliant journalist, a very good interviewer, but, you know, very clearly positioned on the right and yeah. never not apologetic about it. So quite what's the problem? Well, one of my main problems with the BBC is if you complain about any other broadcaster, whether it's GB News or ITV or anything, you go to Ofcom. If you want to complain about the BBC, where do you go? The BBC. It is utterly ridiculous. Why is it only the BBC that's allowed to mark its own homework? Well, I think you probably could go to Ofcom. Could you have to go to the BBC first. Do you remember there, uh, recently there was that Newsnight programme discussing GB News and there wasn't a single person on the programme. You, right. you know, even in a yeah. mild way, it was defending GB News. Yeah. It was all vicious attack, attack, attack. And I, along with many other people, complained about that to the BBC. And you just yeah. get a bland... And some of my friends, letter. Christine, actually still watch uh, Question Time on a Thursday night and they say it's always a balanced audience. Right. Well, they're supposed to select a balanced audience of voters from all, all political spectrums, but it never seems very balanced when, when they get the reactions from, from people in the audience. Well, the Beeb's uh, defence is, whether it's that or anything else, they say that they get as many complaints from the left as they do from the right, so therefore they must be balanced because they're doing well, something right. They're, I think actually, they're I've been on Costin Town, I don't know, 20 times or something like that, and you, you, sometimes you get a very, very hard time from the audience and the other panellists, and the BBC are actually meticulous on that particular programme. I mean, there may be other things that you're on problems with, but, I mean, picking out Question Time as a biased programme, I mean, I don't buy that. I, I don't watch it, so I can't comment about <laughs> on Question Time. Why would I want to watch Question Time? I mean, it does, it does seem, it does seem, Christine, that even, and it works both ways, I guess, sometimes, because we saw when Jeremy Corbyn was the leader of the Labour Party, he had a terrible time, didn't he, from, the, from most of the media, um, and then Boris got the same uh, back in 2019, so they have a big role to play, the, the BBC and, and all the channels. Uh, well, and, and of course the big difference uh, with the BBC is that we pay for yeah. it. I mean, you know, G GB News is 100% funded privately. Yeah. Um, 
through advertising as well, but uh, no element of compulsion, whereas we all have to pay for the BBC. Therefore, there is a, to me, there is a double duty on them to be impartial because they're paid for by the whole country. But they should be impartial. For Why is they it should. they refuse to label Hamas as a, as a terrorist organisation? Well, they do. I mean, every, every news bullet no, they 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 use this phrase about a government described. Yeah. Well, I mean, as you know, I mean, the Middle East is, is a highly emotive yeah. issue. People are throwing around words like terrorists, genocide, you know, whether or not it is, has any precise yeah. legal justification. So it is a tricky area. They're going to run into problems whatever they do. And I yeah, but always get a sense that they're very careful on their news bulletins always to have a Palestinian voice and a voice from the Israeli authorities. Yeah. And they're very careful to keep a balance between the two. But Vince says they're going to run into trouble. Um, but with who? With who, Christine? The answer to... They're so you like the taxpayer. Well, exactly, and they're, they're answerable to themselves. But how you can possibly say after the 7th of October that Hamas is not a terrorist organisation no, is simply unbelievable. No, I, what, of course, know. I think we completely buy that. But it took them a while to, to realise that, didn't it, and actually to follow through and call them terrorist. Yeah. Let's talk about the election coming up this year. Oh, do let's. Yeah, let's talk about the, <laughs> the election. We've seen the... Um, Emergence of the Reform Party. I mean, polling quite well this week. Congratulations, by the way. That's not down to being me, their first it? MP. Well, you are their first MP, yeah. which is a great. Uh, you're not quite right. Farage's lot had an MP, didn't they? Uh, okay. Yeah, but not the Reform. Not Reform. Part. Well, well, it was called so, Yeah, I have yeah. not that uh, honour of being the first Reform uh, MP. You'll go in the history books as the first ever Reform MP. Yes. Uh, Maybe the last, of course. But and, um, <laughs> so, uh, let's talk about the election. Mm. Is Reform going to win some seats? You think in the next election? It's an uphill struggle, isn't it, for any small party, as we know. I mean, yeah. the system is very unfair. If you are part of the major parties, Labour or Tory, yeah. you love the system yeah. because it keeps you, one of you, in power forever. If you're one of the minor parties, uh, then it's desperately unfair. Of course it's unfair. I mean, I can't remember yeah. the figures, but yeah. UKIP got millions and millions and millions of votes at the last election yeah. or the election before and they got no MPs. They got one, I think Douglas Carr. I think, I think people now have been a little bit smarter, a bit more nimble how they vote. Um, you know, people sometimes vote for the party or against the party that they don't want yeah. to be elected. But I think this time, the electorate, this, this is the sort of sense that I'm getting travelling up and down the country is the electorate a little bit fed up with politics and a lot will stay at home and not vote yeah. to apathy. That could be a big killer sure. in the election. Sure. And people, especially on the subject of immigration, which we spoke about earlier, people just think they've been let down for, for, for well over 20 years now on, on immigration. They've been lied. Well, I, I think one thing we're all agreed on, actually, is that the British voting system is extremely unfair to small and insurgent parties. I mean, I know very well from the last 40 years or so. Uh, and the system works heavily against you. I mean, you may well get one or two MPs. I mean, I, I guess you, you have a reasonable chance. But the... Um, you know, the system is not going to give you a big representation in Parliament. No. We, 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 we're throwing the kitchen sink at the next election. We may get 30, 35, something like that. But, but it still would be You'd very... You'd too many buses then, Vincent. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're very unrepresentative of our support in the country. It, uh, two, two points. One is I personally think reform is making a mistake fighting every single seat. I think it's ridiculous to fight certain people who share virtually every single view. I think it's a waste of resources and you should be homing in on others. That's the first point. Second point is actually if you look at Wales, and I don't hold Wales out as an example of anything, frankly, having... Well, they are a poor example for health and education. Well, exactly. Having worked there for five years, I've seen it on the inside. But their electoral system does have an element of fairness because they have 60 members and 40 of them are elected on the constituency basis. And then the other, 20s are, uh, other 20 are done on a variation of proportion. Well, the Welsh, the Scottish, the London voting mm, system is mm, which, proportional. And which, it does give a favour representation. To a certain extent, yes. Which it right, does. guys, so it's, it's with the them. time you've, you've all been waiting for. Oh. It's the yes, no question. Right. And remember, um, remember Stephen Pound, he comes on the show on a regular basis, is he's not what you want to be like. You okay. need to just answer yes, yes or, or no. no. Okay. I know it's difficult for politicians. So I'll start with you, uh, Vince. Will Trump win the US election? Yes. Yes. A wrong answer, because she says yes, I think he will. So I can't give you that. That's one nil. Uh, Hold just, on. He said yes, clear. didn't he? Yeah, but Sorry. it says I think he will. Oh, I see. Yes strange. or no. Oh, it's a very strict quiz, Christine. OK. <clears throat> so, go to you. Uh, will Biden be the Democratic candidate in the election? No. Vince? Um, yes. 
So, Vince, is a Reform UK a far-right party as described by the BBC who later apologised? Yes. It's a far-right, isn't it, Christine? No. Uh, number four, Christine, will Labour win the next election? Yes. Vince? Yes. And last question, Vince. Uh, will reform win, it, win any seats at the next election? Yes. Christine? Yes. Five, four <laughs> to Christine. <laughs> Is there one you want to come back on, Christine, to explain well, I, your answer? My yes on the last question yeah. about will reform, yeah. I was hesitant because, you know, the system is massively stacked against you. Yeah. But there is a, a groundswell, I feel, that there's a public opinion at the moment who are just fed up with... the. Me- we see Labour like 20-odd points behind. I don't think that's because they are literally 20 points behind. I think a lot of people don't want to vote or... Oh, I'm, I'm, well, they yeah. need to be 12 points ahead to win the election. Yeah. I think Actually, 20 could evaporate quite quick. So, a lot of people, I'm sure, haven't made up their mind yet. They're keeping their powder dry. So is there one you want to come back on, Vince, one of these questions? No, I mean, I think you, you diddle me out of a point. Uh, no, no, it's, 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 you've got to be strict in this show, it's, uh, on this quiz. It's a yes or no. Yeah, you've done it before, but let's just talk um, about Labour winning the next election. Is it going to be a landslide or is it going to be a whole parliament? I don't see the landslide coming. No, I, I don't either. I think I think they they will probably get back with a small overall majority, but yeah. of course they've still got a rump of twenty or thirty Corbynites. So uh, Starmer's going to have, have a problem yeah. maintaining discipline in his party. Uh, yeah. Things are going to be tough. There's not a great deal they can do with the budget position and the debt. Position. And will they get any beef from the unions? But uh, you know. The public service union. I think people are going to think long and hard of those that bother to vote. And I honestly, how people cannot vote, if you look back at the history of how people have fought and died to get the vote, but there we are. Um, I don't think it's going to be a massive landslide, but I do think they'll do it pretty, pretty easily, I'm afraid. And do you think my old party will change the leader before the election, Vince? No. Oh, absolutely not, for They'll goodness sake. Because... Five, I mean, is it five or six, seven? I don't know, it's five. Know. It's, well, absurd. Yeah. It's, it's absurd. It's absurd. Can we just go back to the, to the Biden business? Yeah. Because I'm certain that what's going to happen once he's got the nomination, he's yeah. suddenly going to be discovered that he's too ill to stand when it's safe. But we know that already, don't well, we? Well, of course we do, but if, if they admit it now, then you get Kamala Harris and they okay. don't want that. Okay. So they've got to get over that. OK, point. guys, we're going to wrap it up now. Um, sorry, Vince, you got defeated. Uh, by Christine, five points to four. You're the winner this week on the Yes No well, quiz. Well, I, I need to win because yeah. you've got beer and I've got water. Well, actually, it's gin uh, and it's neat it's as not. well. Gin. Oh.